Hey guys, um, <clears throat> SJ here. I'm gonna make you guys a uh, Falco combo in video. Um, you know, Falco's my secondary in melee. Uh, played it on and off for like a good like five years plus. I say, um, you know, Falco combos are my strong point in the character, so I feel I can write a guide about it. So, anyways, uh, Falco's combo game has like a almost infinite skill cap. In my book, um, usually there's a way to like extend almost any ongoing combo. <coughs> and um, on top of extending combos, you can like end your combo early as a DI trap. <coughs> and um, you know, there's a lot of like there's a lot of uh, traits with tech chasing. And so forth. So this guy's to help like newer Falco players, but um, so I'll offer some good tips to any Falco I hope could implement during the game. So first, I want to go over Falco's move set, and um, you know, talking about the strong weak hits for basic all his moves and how to best implement them all. So first, let me talk about Falco's uh, downer, probably his best overall combo start tech chase move. Both strong weak hits are good situation. Obviously, there's um, down and shine being like the really popular thing next. There's people with good DI, like, you gotta be careful, but uh, the shine, Dr. Shine doesn't have a lot of horizontal range, so you wanna be, say, the like SCI far away. Then the grab the shine will likely miss, but based on the percentage, you can still connect it. If you like, uh, maybe not shine, but instead do like a, a move of more range. Down up tilt, solid down air grab. So yeah, down air shine is the most popular choice. Very good at low percents. At higher percents, um, depending on where you do it, it's still fine to do like a. Uh, Like, on the, on the ground is fine because, uh, you can still, like, chase him pretty easily. On the platform, it's more questionable. Fault with the shine here. Like, say you're a combo and shine him up here. A like, lot hard to follow up. Based on the nature of the platforms. Um, other options on, with downers, like, downer up tilts. All very good based on uh, situation calls for. Just down here, down tilts. My problem with that is um, down tilt is that uh, at like higher higher percents, it kind of has a, a problem of uh, like them being able to DI really far away like that. So I like it at low percents if it's like a kind of guaranteed combo, but. It's like a very, uh, <coughs> you gotta kind of read that they're not gonna DI away, or, uh, percentage can't be that high for down or down tilts. And, um, there is the, against floaties and semi floaties, there's the down or shine combo. On FD, you can actually, like, uh, you know, keep bouncing up and down. It's a very, uh, I think Mango kind of uh, pioneered it for the most part. Yeah, kind of fucking up there, but you know, you can like um, kind of up and down. Kinda hard to do a showcase of this, but um, you know, go watch like a typical Mango Zane match on the stage, and um, there you go, something like that. 
And very good study. It's really effective against like the floaty, semi floaty types. And um, there's another downer link that I want to show also, which is um, double downer on platforms. But yeah, double downer on platforms. Um, <clears throat> it's a good way to, um, you know, um, keep calling on platforms. Rather than like downer and hitting them up the shine, you can. Do what I just did, where um, double downer will double pop up a little bit. It's like a, a weak stomp, essentially. And um, <coughs> there's still like basically two basic outcomes that will show. Like um, one is where they get knocked down, and it's like a pretty easy fetch chase after the fact. The other one was when um, they don't get knocked down. But they're still like a stun. Oops. And I'll, I'll show the one where they're still in stun. On the stage, like FOD. Fountain. See, note, note that um, after the second shine there, or second downer rather, like a. Uh, because you're so close, you can still um, truly combo into a shine after the double downer. <coughs> Show one more time. So it's another choice you can consider, like, um, rather than just doing these typical pillar combos, once you're like on a platform, because your choices are a little bit more expanded than something like that. So downer, a million choices. Good choices for it in a lot of situations. And um, also, it's also just like a, a very necessary move for tech chasing too. I say you're um, because people are really good at DI in general, like uh, it's a must to know how to like tech chase with Falco. And um, downer is like basically <coughs> pound for pound, probably the best choice. For like um, covering tech goals. Huh? Because um, back in the day you can like pillar combo, but DI is too good now for that, so it's, it's a must that you have to like tech chase him down here. <clears throat> Essentially, like a weak stone from dropping. And overall, the move you gotta. that has probably the most overall usage in terms of combo and tech chasing. You know. Anti CC. To a certain extent. A lot of people like hold CC now, so downer is a pretty solid choice in many situations. So. The one, the one caveat of doing um, down throw style uh, moves on the ground is sometimes they can ops attack it. However, um, you know, you just gotta like follow them when they they do like uh, act, you know ops attack. Let's see if I can program the CPU to ops attack. I think I can do it on the combo train. Yeah, so. Sometimes they will also attack it. And, you know, it's more like a player versus player base read of like, uh, do they got those? If so, then you just gotta be quick on the... on the follow-up. 
interesting how sometimes they do it. Oops. Hey, you, you pretty much get the point. Tech, tech out, tech away. So yeah, um, yeah, I'm just sell text. If the guy does, he's got to be uh, ready to follow up quickly. Simple as that. Okay, so that's pretty much it for, um, and I can show you some other stuff too. Um, some more advanced stuff. Say you're like comboing on like a uh, platform. Say like you want. Um, Like you, you got him up here, you down here, and um, what you can do is like uh, do a dash to drop cover choices. <clears throat> and sometimes it's the best overall choice for Falco because, uh, you know, if you do another move, like like I showed earlier, double down here, same shit basically, like, it'll pop him up. It'll pop him up and it'll be in a prime spot to keep going combo very easily. So still drop down here is a choice that you can do. Show it at least once. Stage. But you know, as you downer people and you're um, using the platform to calm them, you know they're gonna tackle to the right. This is a choice. Dash shield drop down here. Maybe not from top plat. Depending on depends on the situation. You probably could sometimes. The higher percent to get popped up, to kind of fall in front of you. So that's another choice, and um, even better if you can like cross them up with the downer too. Fuck up the so that's basically it for uh, Taco's downer. Next thing I'm gonna talk about is Nair. Um, <coughs> strong, it's pretty good for extending low near percent. So you gotta be careful that. Um, Unlike downer, where if they're grounded, if they CC it, then there's a, a spike in your counter attacks. But you know, if you can, like, if they're off the ground or they're not CCing, then if they're low percent, then um. It's a, it's a pre connects across the board to, like, a shot. So obviously a good choice. I'm sure most Falcon players know how to use Nair. Um, the weak, the weak hits good for uh, high percents. Let's pick a bigger stage. You know, the weak hits like good for keeping it close. One of many Falcon's moves that. Extend combos like border and weak nair is one of them. So yeah, don't want to dwell too much on there, but still worth pointing out. You know, you know you, you, if you mix up downer and neutral air decently, it definitely pay off for di trapping. You know. So up here, next on the list. So it's kind of like shine, where um. 
Did the air away? Then they kind of fly really far away, you know. Everyone knows that. That's a given. That's like a given, right? They fly the fuck away, but. So, this move is. Assuming that they're gonna DI like away. It's pretty good at low percents for both hits. Also, sometimes for, sorry, for platform tech chases, that's the only way to connect from beneath. On, like, say, Battlefield or Yoshi's platform, stage of the platform's lower than Dreamlike. That's the way to connect. Um, so, besides those choices, like, um,. When is the best time to use up air? Some people say, um, as a DI mix up. I, I personally like it if you, um, cross them up. Like, um, cross them up. Let me try, try to fix this. You basically trick the opponent and, like, uh, up air. On the opposite side of where they are. See, like, say up here, it blocks his left foot here. And they're holding away. They're gonna fly the fuck away to the right. But if I, like, cross him up here and hit him on the right side, and they expect me to hit from the left, then you get, like, a DI like that, where they pop up. And that, that makes Falco's up air, like, exponentially better for combos. Like, you trick him with the cross up DI. And, um,. That's basically one of the secrets to go from like a all right Falco combo game to really strong. If you can get to find these uh, cross ups where they, uh, the DI is fucked up. So, up air goes from like a all right move situational to um, potentially um, godlike if you do the cross ups and the DI is messed up. So, something to really think about. Also, there is the single hit up air. Trying to be fancy ain't a bad choice, and um, you know it's also a way to keep him close. Common follow ups first hit up air to up tilt. You can also do first hit up air to shine. What I'm trying to do is show you after like a pillar combo or two. <clears throat> there you go. Something like that. So it's a cool way to uh, keep the connects going. <coughs> um, pretty decent mid stage on a lot of spots. It's good as a mix up. I think it's personally pretty damn valuable in FD. And I also like to do it on spots like this, where um, if you see like a window to uh, to like get him on top platform a high percent, you can do like a jump up, press it up air, up tilt. And go go with the finish with the 
like an up air or a shine. So let's set the CPU to like a, a percentage with that would actually be the case. So. Yeah, there you go. Just gotta move a little to the right. It's probably not going to kill, but I'll show you the theory behind it. So, you can use the first hit as a, uh, a way to, like, say they get popped up around here. Up here, and they're, like, in hang time. First up here, up salts. Finish them. <coughs> and, um, you know. Pretty good move with a lot of, uh, Surprising skill cap or skill of depth to it, you know. And number one thing, my advice is to think about crossing people up with uh, up air, because that makes the move pay off a lot harder, harder than um, otherwise, you know. <clears throat> so, next move is a uh, forwarder, a lot like weak near. It's got that range that uh furthest range out of like moves from like a uh, you know like a attacking position more so than Nair itself. Bear has a little bit more, more range to it now. And you know it's, it's, it's based on its weak Nair um Can be a decent health choice for enemy combos, or just uh, following up. Can edge cancel with the two. Edge cancel fair is um do some cool stuff <clears throat> based on the character. Just fair down here, you know, be creative with it. Multi hits are hard to land. It's interesting to note that uh, if you're fast, you can get three hits in a short hop. And they're blocking. It's actually quite good for um, tricking people. It's worth pointing out. And um, <clears throat> for actually landing the multiple hits. A very um a very like common one I see from the old school days was like PP versus MTK where um you know PP would just up throw uh, mark the low percents and just do a border and MTK just hold the fucking and you get like a million fucking hits on one. Of Of course, the CPU is like air dodging speed of light. I wonder if I can turn that off. So, I guess like a typical semi floaty or floaty, that's like your best bet for getting multiple hits. And it's pretty good. <coughs> can be a juicer just from one move alone. Alright, next is back air. Strong hits usually a combo ender. I think it's overused by mid-level Falcos. You know, um I, I see a lot of situations where I, I like extending my combos. Or doing like a sick DI mix-up. 
You could data away backer for the DI mix-up, but it tends not to be as juicy as say like a, a force smash when you mix them up. And um, I like I just like keeping people close. I see a lot of spots where uh, like here instead of downering they go for a backer and then they kind of hit him to safety. I hit him off stage. And um, it's like a tricky edge guard situation. When um, you know, I'm a bigger fan of <clears throat> when he down our team puts. <clears throat> so usually a combo Andrew. Sometimes with edge canceling, can do um. Multiple hits. And, um... The weak hits can be a combo extender at mid-high percents. And because if you fast on the short off aerial, the back there, there's auto-cancel aspects, so... Say we go to, like, FD. Kind of carry them with you as you uh, run forward and do like a big backer type, with no lag after the, the landing. Yeah, so so definitely very important to know about the weak backer. Oh, it cancel. <clears throat> In general. Okay, laser. Um, <coughs> very good for connecting combos. Laser shine. <clears throat> Against people like Marth. You don't laser up smash. With like a proper platform heights. You can link you can link many moves just from a laser like into uh, shine is pretty common. There's a uh, again laser up smash on stages like this, so you can like get both of them, get both lasers as you land a platform. There's jab, there's forward salts. Absolutely uh, essential for a, uh, you know, for directly connecting some moves and in mid combos too. And obviously, you can use it to laser set no techs. Okay, next Falco Shine, essential combo move, a little mid percents. High percent is very situational, and I'll show you why. Say you're like comboing someone onto like uh, platforms. <clears throat> Here is the mistake people make. Say like uh, you got them onto like side platform. You want to do moves that don't hit them far away potentially. And a lot of people would just do shine. They box flies the fuck away. You know? Side platforms too. Like, shine and then they're just too far away to actually follow up. So, what do you do instead? Typically, I like to um, keep them close. Like, downer is a viable choice. It's also up tilts. Can't really go as far away. But you know, obviously shine is the the follow-up after like a downer or an air. And um <clears throat> if you're like on the ground and they're high percents, it's not it's not terrible to um do a shine. Unlike when they're on a platform, here. I'll show you why.
Reason being is because on the ground, when you're grounded, it's easier to follow up. Oops. I don't know why I did it down here. Follow up on when you're grounded a lot better. Most people want the uh, as good as CPU, so like you can do down air shine, dash shine. You know. <clears throat> on a platform though, because usually when you jump up to shine them, you don't have the luxury of a, a dash full hop jump like that. Usually you're doing that, right? And say attack to the right, you shine up here. They're holding up in a way, then they're gonna be so far that you just can't follow up because you have to uh, wave one after the shine. It's wasting some time. So, be very mindful of um, <clears throat> that situation. Kind of like upper though, there is a. Uh, a way to make shine work, and that's crossing up again. Earlier I talked about up air like a... Uh, being extremely di -able. You know how I talked about if I hit Fox's left foot here, and di away, then they fly the fuck away. Um, but if I hit them on the right foot, and they're trying to hold the right di to the right di, then they get popped up. Shine shines the same same shit. Like if you cross them up here, then you'll get a uh, <clears throat> you'll get a di where uh, instead of them flying the fuck away, they're gonna go uh, pop up like right here, like right roughly here. So <clears throat> so for shine, if you want to keep going. On platforms, you have to um trick them basically. And overall, quite useful. Yeah, crossing up, the DI gets fucked, and um, extremely good too on like smaller stages where. Uh, You know, trying to do like a shine up B kill. And um, if you want to shine up B kill people, um, <clears throat> it's best to cross them up usually. That way their DI is bad and they won't like DI away. And the up B is really likely to connect after that, so. Again, worth stressing. Always think about crossing them up. Don't just the uh, don't just like hit the hit them from the front. Which uh, even the best Falco means the up and comers, you know, don't do. They don't they don't do cross ups. Moves go about um, up tilts. Situational at very low percents, but um, it's very it's very strong from like almost any percent range, almost any situation. Maybe it's not the best choice, but it's usually never a terrible choice if, if you can make it connect. Like um, typically. On platform combos, um, it's best to start up tilting instead of rather than shining if you have a choice. Why? Because they're closer. Yeah, it does make sense. 
Okay, dash attack. This is a choice to use like a... It's a lazy choice for like combo and attack chasing. It's really easy to DI. And you're usually better off doing a downer instead. To keep him close. Or pop him. <clears throat> so, some people use dash attack too much for comboing. It's usually a mistake. You want to use other moves. That's my point. There's also a strong weak hit of dash attack. Sometimes the weak hit at like really high percents is uh, good enough to get like a, a link or a kill. So, that's my video on um, Thaco combo game. Um, again, I think Thaco's combo game has like an infinite skill cap. <clears throat> I really encourage experimenting a lot, and um, you know, you can have um, extend combos like 28 combos, whatever. And sometimes you just end it with like a port smash, and because you've been combo with them hella hard, they're trying to DI like away and escape. So sometimes you randomly just do a quick, quick uh, finisher, and um, you'll get a kill easily that way too. So. And it makes your lazy uh, early finishes really effective just by virtue of having uh, like a better combo game like that. So yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed the guide. And um, yeah, maybe I'll do some more Thaco videos. We shall see. Thanks for watching.